Hero X, the Japanese book publisher, responsible for probably the most important Transformer book if you're a G1 collector or G1 fan. Transformers Generations. We associate that with a lot of things, with the Transformer toy line, with all kinds of different stuff, um, even a comic book. But the name Transformer Generations back in 2001, among the, the tongue of any Transformer fan back then, was that of the best Transformers book that existed if you were a Generation 1 toy collector. Mm -hmm. And this was a Japanese book that was just extensive. It just had everything from every walk of life, Japanese, UK, American, everything. And then it showed prototypes. It showed all kinds of illustrations. It showed, like, running changes. It showed all kinds of stuff. And then the back of the book was just, oh, hey, by the way, here's line art of just everybody throughout Transformer history. Mm. Oh, by the way, here's some Ox Studios line art. Here's this, here's that. That book sold like crazy in 2001 and sold out. It sold out so well that back then in 2004, uh, Hero X, the publisher, released their deluxe version of it, which was, we're going to give you everything you had before, but even more prototypes, <laughs> even more art. And, it, and that became like the gold standard. And that yeah. book at one point was going for about $100 in the secondary market on eBay because it was just like if you were an artist in Transformers and you were doing commissions, mm -hmm. you know, you had that book. Go Alex Milne. There's so many times you see Alex Milne, he's doing commissions and he has that book with him yeah. because someone might go up to him and go, hey, you know, I want, uh, could you do me, uh, I don't know, do me a commission of... We'll just bring up Powertrain from the from the MicroMasters. <laughs> so it, it's just it's just this this extensive, amazing book that just everyone uses. And I mean, even James Roberts talked about it on Twitter a few days ago. He was just saying how oh, it's no like way. it's it's the book that everyone uses. And that book in 2004 then sold out like crazy, and then become extremely difficult to find. And then it was hilarious. I want to say around like 2008, 2009, people in China started bootlegging this book. <laughs> And then there was like a. How third would you know part. if it was a bootleg version? Because it was it was pretty much a Chinese version, you know, like it was Chinese uh. and and it was significantly cheaper. Uh. Um, and that one was kicking around for quite some time. And then you know, people's obviously when when the internet started really like getting its stuff together, people just started having PDF files of it online, and you oh, just wow. kind of have it on. Yeah, well, you can have it on your uh, like people would then do scans of it, and then you know as technology advanced you know now artists have their ipad nearby so mm -hmm. they'll have a pdf of a, a, a scan of the book that they got online for free and they just be able to like flip through it and then they have stuff then but back then that was like the in hand that was the book so to celebrate the 35th anniversary of transformers hero x is going to be reissuing the legendary transformers generation book the deluxe version which is the better version for the low price of $25. Ooh. So th this is this is an wow. incredible book. I mean the 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 funny thing is is that like the first version the 2001 one my copy of it is so torn up and beat up <laughs> from just from just all the times that I would reference it. I had that book like on my side all the time. Oh, uh, you know, I got to look up something and I'd always like like flip through it it was just such a key book mm -hmm. and it's so cool that now this important book and it's it's funny because I, I almost look like today no one buys books anymore mm -hmm. you know what i mean no one buys books everything's digital now and it's like and even this book like there's no reason really if to like buy it in the sense that like you could just find a free scan of it online somewhere but it's just it's such an important book in transformer history that i feel like if you if you love generation one uh do yourself the favor and pick this one up, especially yeah. for twenty five bucks. It is, it is like cover to cover, just amazing stuff. And you don't need to know Japanese to enjoy it because it's just this beautiful book, and it has just so much cool stuff in it, especially all the prototype stuff. I think a lot. I think like twenty five bucks for the whole collection of G one is not a crazy asking <laughs> price. Well, not only that, a lot of times I post a lot of uh, interesting prototype stuff on my Twitter. That yeah. people just like they go crazy like oh where do you find this stuff? Sometimes I just find it from that book. Mm. I'll just like I'll open it up and I'll be like man hey look at this combiner that like turned into a snake that we never got you know and then I'll just like take a scan of it and post it and people like flip out but all that's a lot of that stuff comes from this book. So if you want to see mm. a lot of crazy stuff definitely pick it up. It's really cool. It all again it also has 
uh, Machine Wars in it, like the complete run of Machine Wars, which isn't saying much because Machine Wars was a small line, but Machine Wars is in it too. Uh, there's a few, uh, the, the first couple waves of the SCF PVCs of Transformers are in there also. So there's a little bit of everything. Some BotCon stuff, some manga scans. There's a lot of really cool stuff on top of just having every single G1 toy ever made from every region. So it's it's a really complete book. I, I let me just I'm reaching over for mine now just to like yeah. it's it's mine mine's kind of buried in a bunch of uh, books right now. It's 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 over 200 pages pretty mm. much. It's it's 200 pages fully colored, uh, glossy. Yeah, except for the line art stuff, which I mean, rightfully so, that would be black and white. But everything else is full color. Um, just great stuff. So definitely, if you get a chance, pick it up. Uh, it's going to probably be pre-ordering everywhere soon. So uh, usually, uh, I know that right now on Amazon.jp, it's available, but I'm pretty sure people like TF Source and a few other guys, and maybe even Big Bad Toy Store, uh, will get in and also hook up on this because this is such a key book. 